Has Lamar now entered the MVP race? I mean, I, I would say he entered the MVP race for sure. I think there's still some concern about that loss to the Pittsburgh Steelers where their offense scored 10 points. Um, you can't forget about that. You know, there hasn't enough time passed to let me forget about that. Now, how Lamar Jackson played the other day was outstanding. That was incredible. Uh, he did it with his arm. He did it from the pocket. Um, his offensive coordinator, a new offensive coordinator, has to be very impressed with how they used him. His receivers caught the ball. Zay Flowers looked very impressive. Mark yeah. Andrews looked like the Pro Bowl All-Pro that he has been. I just... It's just those games, those losses, that loss to the Colts, that loss to Pittsburgh, where they just did not look as impressive. Now, this is them beating a very good Detroit team and beating the brakes off of them. So I, I got to give them that. I, I give them this is a great win. It's just those other games are the reasons why I have a hard time saying, yeah, these, these, this is the best team in the AFC. Mm. I, and, and, and listen, let me, let me take this for a moment because I found – I told you I sat yesterday and there was so much information just whistling, 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 whistling by just whistling. <laughs> I just enjoyed it, you know, because my brain was fresh and just taking Because you in. weren't distracted yeah, by yeah, I wasn't the distracted. Cowboys. I was yeah. able to just laser focus on that task at hand yep. without worried about people telling me other things. But let me tell you what I saw. On this 50th, on this golden victory for Lamar Jackson, he matured into the golden quarterback. Mm that is going to challenge that dynasty they have in Kansas City right now. This Agreed. is what I saw. I'm telling you right now, and I'll tell you why I say this. We talked about this last week when, we, when I said Lamar looks like Patrick Mahomes sitting in the pocket and dispersing that ball. Key, I'll address what you said. Yeah, these losses hanging over his head. I gave you a demarcation, 50th win, to turn him into golden. But those games you're talking about, he's still discerning and deciphering that whole offense. And remember now, remember, even in his discernment and deciphering stage, he still delivered passes. They were just dropping balls. That's or true. we wouldn't have been in this situation. No. They would have won those games, too. Now they've come to maturity. Man, I'm watching this game, and I'm saying, oh, my God, this is scary. I ain't finished. Let me finish telling you why it's scary. Because what Kansas City has, now Baltimore has. Let me tell you why it's more dangerous in the hands of Baltimore than it has ever been in the hands of Kansas City. In this game... In this game, and you saw it yesterday, we just finished talking about the game. We always talk, is it speed to power or power to speed? I always personally go power to speed. I'll take power over speed any day because power in this game wins over speed. That's mm -hmm. what we talked about with That's Philly true. in Miami. Mm -hmm. Power with speed. See, Kansas City has been finessing speed and, and, and trying to find a physical power running game. Oh. Baltimore has always been that. Mm -hmm. And now you're adding what Kansas City have in the passing game to a power running game. Yep. This is why they will contend, contest, and be right there in Kansas City if you have home field advantage. Mm -hmm. You're going to see Lamar Jackson at his golden stage right now because he got his golden win yesterday, and he looks golden. Gold I'm telling you. I second all the emotion just spewed all over this table by my man Michael Irvin across from me at this table because that game yesterday that was, was a statement game by Lamar Jackson. Incredible. It was a masterpiece of a game against a Detroit team that wasn't getting enough credit on defense. It was all focused on Jared Goff, but their defense is night and day better from what it was a year ago yesterday. And yet they go in there in the first half and they get carved up by a Lamar Jackson who is playing pocket pass football oh. at the at, at the yeah. highest of at levels. Highest. He was he, he has taken it above where he was as the MVP of this league when he oh. threw 50 touchdown passes. Way above that. And he said in his on-field interview right after you can say it slipped out of his mouth, but it's just the truth and they all know it. What, what was the difference? My receivers caught the ball. He, his first thing out of his mouth, then he tried to amend it and said, and we all did, did blah, blah. okay. But, but his receivers caught the football yesterday. They didn't drop a single pass. Whew. Richard, are, are you with us that, that this team is arriving because they do, they, they can just run the ball down your throat with Gus Edwards and 
Justice Hill. I don't know where they come up with these guys. You, they look like they're just guys, but right. they are hard-running football players to me. I, I mean, I, I, I agree. They have a. This is a great victory. This is a great win for Baltimore. Uh, I believe that Lamar Jackson is playing like an MVP candidate. Their defense has only given up seven touchdowns on the entire season, so you yeah. got to give them credit right. for that. Right. But I just it, – it's that loss to Pittsburgh where you look up and George Pickens and, and Kenny Pickett, who has been much maligned a lot of this season, stand up and throw the ball on a fade ball, and they just looked outmanned, outmatched. And offensively, they, they disappeared in that game. That's a division wait, wait, game. Wait, wait, That's wait, a total set game. You have all, you, 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 you're dropping in things. Mm. They're, they're a fact. It's fact. It's fact. But there are circumstances mm. around those facts. Marlon Humphrey had just came back. That was his first game back. I, and they had him following, running around with picking. And that dude has been doing that to everybody. Yes. And that passed down the sideline uh, uh, against Marlon Humphreys that he caught. Mm -hmm. It's like... I, I, you know his legs were heavy. That was his first game back. So let's just put that. Let's put those points in there. Yep. I, 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 will I, 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 I hear you, and I love Hump. Hump Humphreys is a good dude. He's a good player, a good friend of mine. I, he understands what it means when you step out on that field. There's no excuses. Nobody cares about your excuses or heavy legs when you play, especially at the cornerback position. Receivers, if y'all legs heavy, y'all get go get some water. Go to the sideline for a few plays. Maybe get a massage. Corner, you out there. 365 days of the year, 24 hours a day. You do not get a day off a playoff. And so he understands what it means to play the cornerback position. So when Kenny, when George Pickens lines up out there, you got to be able to do your job. And they check to that play. That's the most concerning. They check to that play. It's been a long time since anybody checked to a fade on Marlon Humphreys. I don't think people just lining up and saying, hey, we see, we see Hump yeah, out there. That's a good point. Hey. Check, check fade ball. Right, like, but that's what the we're game, saying the same thing there. Happen. They knew that was his first game back, and he's played a whole bunch of games. And I got this guy, they said, hey, odds are, let's take a chance at him. Humper being better situations, a better predicament, and he'll be better than that. I, I'm but not worried but about that. that's not just on Hump. I, the offense, the offense is where I'm concerned about in that game because the Steelers' defense has right. played well, but they haven't played well enough to limit this offense to right. 10 points. And I know we talked about the drops, but that's the inconsistency that I'm talking about. You show up against Detroit, not one drop. Y'all play fantastic football. Can I expect that week in and week out? If I can, then you give them all the glory in the world. But that hasn't been the case. So, Richard, you weren't here with us on Friday, but we – addressed your basic anonymous quote from an NFL executive about the Ravens, about how you don't fear anybody on the offense anymore because Lamar is not running with the football the way he used to. They don't call runs. I think they, I, I, I saw one yesterday. Wrong. Yeah, and you said he was wrong, I said Michael. He was but, dead wrong. But, but the point was that the guy is saying, how, what do you fear if Lamar's turning into a pocket passer? Well, I just showed that you what right the, 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 those right. 17 yeah. pads, that's what you fear. Right. And by the way, John Harbaugh doesn't get enough credit because he loses one coordinator after another after another. I know they fired the last one, but he loses so many assistant coaches over the years. And they just the, the, the Raven way just continues and continues on defense right. because mm. they keep finding people who can run the football and play high level, hard nosed defense the right way. And that team, they, they ran the ball 27 times yesterday, and they threw it 27 times. Well, it, it looked right to me. And listen, this league should feel uh, should fear Lamar now because I, I think he's right, starting right, to right, surge ahead right, in the MVP. Right, and that's why when you say now, you, you can talk about Lamar, you can say, you can give John Harbaugh some credit. And, and I, I agree with you. But when I see what I saw yesterday, I'm not <laughs> – I'm not Sean Payton, and I'm not trying to throw anybody under the bus. But I gotta say, Greg Roman, what was going on? Yeah, okay. Why That's we? Had, why, why didn't you? Well, be, why didn't you? And, and, and maybe I should put it on the organization too, because now they got players making plays outside, and Bateman and Odell Beckham outside. Odell he, got caught five balls yesterday. Well, he's yeah, starting that, about, by it, the way, Lamar it, threw him the most eight, balls. Eight different seven. passes, though. He threw, I mean, eight Thanks different receivers. receivers. We're not just talking about finding one guy. Let me tell you why, because I'll get people talking to me. Oh, Michael, what are you talking about him? Like he can't be like Patrick Mahomes. Patrick. Mahomes has Travis Kelsey and a bunch of guys that are trying to make plays. McCole Harmon came back, did a great job yesterday. They needed him. And now, so, so, so Lamar Jackson ain't got Travis Kelsey, 
But Mark Andrews and Zay Flowers in the middle, it gives me an amalgamation of Travis Kelsey that I can work with yeah. and I can use in the middle of that football field. And what I got now on the outside in Odell and Bateman and those boys, yeah. they are better than what Kansas City has mm -hmm. on the outside. That's why I say this team right here can be the team that battles with Kansas City mm -hmm. and get right up in that race. Mm -hmm. I'm just telling you, that team right there look great. I just have a hard time with it. I mean, it, I, I hate anonymous sources, Skip. You know this. I, yep. hate, I hate when they even speak like that. Yeah, I hate that we justify it and put it on air because you don't deserve it because you can't put your name behind it, which but means just, you ain't that convicted. Interesting. Be it's interesting. Be courage of your at. conviction. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's no question. Right. But but he won an MVP throwing 50 touchdown passes. How many yeah. MVPs have won throwing 50 touchdown passes? Yeah. So that, I mean, that right. debunks that immediately. But I understand what he's saying, Key. I understand what he's saying, Sherman. Let me just try to do this right quick, right quick. Yeah. What he was saying was, that was a guy that ran first. What we're saying now, what I'm telling you, I saw what we saw yesterday. Those plays that Skip just showed you, you will see in some of those plays, that pocket collapsed. He never looked for a door to go, door to go running. No. He only looked for a peephole to throw. He did. Even when the pocket collapsed, he waited on another door, back, back out the back door, and found Nelson Aguilar in the corner of the end zone, never taking off with them rocket legs that he has. And I'm saying if he's, this is his main thing, now the running game going to open wide open, and now when he takes off, Patrick Mahomes takes off to go get first down. And he, and he does it he does. great. But when he takes off, it's going to be touchdowns. Not first down, yeah, I mean, touchdowns. That's going to be the it, scary it, part. It, 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 but I just hate that people keep making his point. It's frustrating because that, that wasn't the case that season. He, he made plays with his leg because that's the way the offense was designed. But you right, throw 50 right, right. touchdown passes. Right. He's doing it both ways. And he's doing it however way he wants. There are very few quarterbacks in the National Football League that play at the highest level, at the elite level, that aren't doing it with their legs. You look at Josh Allen. Yeah. You look at Patrick Mahomes. You look at him. Even Joe Burrow from time to time. He that's does. why his calf injury has had such an effect because he's a lot more mobile in that pocket than people give him credit for. And every quarterback that you're looking for in a draft is a mobile guy. He's probably running four, six, four, five. That's different than it used to be. So these anonymous right. sources saying this nonsense just pisses me off because it's that old school, me old mentality of me too. Oh, me oh too. He, he's a runner. He, he's a he's a running back at quarterback. Like reveal your name so we can say, <laughs> hey, that's the old school guy. He deserves no credibility anymore. That's what's frustrating. Agreed. All right. So last year, as we used to talk about on the show, day after day after day. Lamar was so unhappy. It, right, it got right, bitter. Right, it got right. ugly. Yeah, and see. I didn't understand right. it because I thought the right. Ravens put him through the ringer that he didn't deserve to be put through. He had earned the right to make the money he was about to make. And he finally got his money. It just took it was such a long, bloody road to get to the money that he should have had from jump. And it, it, a, they made him story. wait and wait and wait. But the point is, you can just see his body language this year is relieved. It's like, okay, now I'm ready. Now they, they paid me their respect. That's, that's all right. he wanted, to paid the respect. And now I'm ready to play football the way I know how to play football. I think he was protecting himself last year, and who Which can blame smart. him? Yeah, I mean, smart, come man. on. But, in, but, but and, and I jumped you, Skip. Yeah. Last year, when he's protecting himself, you're right. I thought he was protecting himself last year, too. And I said, I don't know, okay. Well, well, I almost understand that. For sure. Because, because you, you want him running, and, and you won't give him the protection. Incidentally, as we talked through this, we, we were talking earlier in the dressing room, it's so funny how what we see with our eyes, we, we make statements. Like, okay, we, we won't, no question Justin Herbert will give you the money. No question, Joe Burrow, you've earned that money. Joe Burrow earned it. I, that's a whole different thing. Lamar Jackson had actually earned it. But we're used to seeing pocket passes. Only pocket passes get that money. Lamar Jackson is saying, I could do it a pocket pass, and you just never let, it, let me do it. And now he's doing it. Now he's doing it and doing it at the highest of levels. So I, 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 I just want to kudos him on that, man. Yeah. I mean, it's incredible. I think Baltimore right now, if you gave me, if those two teams match, I would take right now that Baltimore team even over Kansas City. That I Kansas would City too. Team I, saw. I, mm -hmm. I agree. And, Richard, to your point, it's not that Lamar is not going to run anymore. If, if you need him to get third and three He's on a keeper, he will go get it. Because right. you want to talk about a baller, man, right. he, he will.
It'll be easier for him to run, though, because now people are going to think past yes. and let Agreed. him run. Before, Agreed. it was always think and run and hoping he'd pass. Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Do you want more highlights from the show? Make sure to click that subscribe button for all the exclusive content from Undisputed.